Notice that you don't have an uppercase O here. Can we fix that? Whittier Elementary is a microcosm of the Everett School District. About 40% of the students here are low income. A growing number of them speak English as a second language, but the kids, nice, nice job, are succeeding. We're about 12% above the district average and then 23% above the state average. Principal Tony Wentworth year, says the writing is on the wall. Nearly every grade here has shown steady improvement in both reading and math. Mm. Everett is the state's only district of at least 6,000 students where low-income students in every single school perform better than expected. A, a collective effort with a clear focus that Dr. Cohn pushes um, that we're we're all here with the same purpose to reach every child. If you take this so that they can I use it a little bit later, I appreciate it. Right. Reaching every child has been Superintendent Gary Cohn's mission. Over his 10 years leading the district, the on-time graduation rate has hit an all-time high of nearly 96%. He's put graduation teams in every high school to identify specific needs of students who may otherwise be left behind. Whether it's the ability to um, to go to after school programs, participate in before school programs, whether whether a youngster needs a calculator, what, whatever it happens to be, figure out what that youngster needs and overcome that particular set of barriers. And I think you're a pretty fantastic student. And as the kids at Whittier pursue their educations, awesome. Gary Cohn says it's the kids that continue to inspire oh him God, after really? a 39 year career. A mom comes up with a toddler and says, do you remember me? I was in your marketing class. I want you to know how much difference you made for me. And how much I appreciate what you're doing here at this high school. That's huge, mm -hmm. just huge. That's what some folks call a paycheck. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Superintendent Cohn is leaving as the district is facing a $23 million deficit by the year 2022. That's because of remaining levy inequities left behind by the McCleary decision. Cohn says lawmakers must come up with a funding plan that provides stability and consistency for each district so teachers can focus on what they should, their students.